Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be <clears throat> a weekly tarot reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising, September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Aquarius, this is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the next, no, the next card which represents the challenges um, that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Death card. Afterwards, we do have the Seven of Cups, which represents the positive aspect. <clears throat> and then the last one is going to be the Tower card, which stands for the Guidance. Alright, so it looks like a wake-up call. It's like, wait a minute. I mean, is this the only thing that I can do? Or am I going to satisfy myself with only this, right? And that will provoke, of course, a more tenacious uh, behavior, more, how can I say it? I um, <clears throat> enthusiastic drive. But before we go into that, let's uh, run the cards down one more time. So we do have the Seven of Pentacles, which stands for the topic. Afterwards is going to be the Death card, which represents the challenges. Then we do have the Seven of Cups, which stands for the uh, positive aspect. And the last one here is going to be the Tower card, which represents the guidance. All right, so Seven of Pentacles, uh, as the topic, it's catalyzed by the Page of Swords. So it is a lies that you have followed up until this moment. And uh, in this week, September, um, September 16th to September 22nd, it does look like that you are to become aware of your full capabilities. And lies in a sense of that you have been deceived for the real capabilities of a project, of a relationship, you know, or of yourself, that is. It's no different than uh, you are capable of a lot, but somebody, it's, it's trying to push into your mind, you know, that you work for nothing. But this week, it, it looks like that you, with your newfound powers, if you want to say it that way, or with your newfound capabilities, with your newfound options, you are going to take your break um, or, to, or take a break to catch up your breath because a most, a, a most needed rest it's, uh, it's required here. Uh, so you can uh, rearrange uh, your means and your priorities, if you will, and afterwards, you know, start taking advantage of those important uh, events or, or, or an important circumstances which are around every corner from now on. But it is uh, very important to uh, abstract yourself 
from uh, from other people's opinion. The other people's opinion should not matter, especially if that opinion is about you. Like uh, someone says, let's say that you are ugly or that um, uh, you are uh, you are a failure, you know, or, or or that you I don't know you're incapable in these kind of stuff. The, the, those opinions, even though they may be uh, a bit uh, traumatic to oneself, they should not be a criteria that you have to. Uh, leave your life around right but instead try to write your own book try to write your own chapter and that happens uh, that starts to happen this week when you actually understand you know how much you can work with and instead of uh, being on the losing side suddenly you will start doing the necessary um, actions i would say to end up at the um, at the winning side at the end of the day. The, uh, com the next card, which is uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here is going to be the death and it is catalyzed by the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, death and the Eight of Pentacles as a challenge in this case, first of all, they are passive friends here. Uh, it, does look like, it does look like that you have pushing into the uh, into the wrong details, all right? Or you have acknowledging the wrong details, either into your relationship or either into your career. You know, things that you thought are important are gonna turn out to be unimportant at all. They are, are turn out to be a trifles. And you have to change your mindset. You need to burn those bridges to outdated hobbies, let's say, or outdated standpoints or outdated criterias and readopt the new criterias which are to be necessary for the change, for the new beginning, for the new era that you are to start provoking within your life. Era where from a loser or era from a someone who is down in the dumps, all right, you end up up into the heaven. But that will happen only, you know, if you, whatever you uh, identify that is going to be substantial and beneficial for yourself, you need to face it with, with uh, a big um, a big sense of conscientiousness. You need to take your time with it, okay? To, to make it as close as a perfection, to make it exactly the way you want to make it. And at the end of the day, it looks like as well that you are to find out that something you have planned for so much time, but you never had the chance or you never had the, the, the circumstances right. To be, uh, to be manifested or to be executed, um, like I said, you are to find out that those circumstances are circumstances that you are to create and you have to create. And for that reason, it does look like that some detachments, you know, and some relationships are gonna break, but not intimate relationships. That it's well, it's possible for an intimate relationship, but if that happens, then it means that that relationship is as good as dead. All right, you 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 can't hope for anything more from it. Anyway, the next card, which is the positive aspect of the week, is going to be the Seven of Cups, and it is catalyzed here by the Ten of Wands. So uh, these cards are pointing that the new game that is going to be established, well, you are the arbiter of the game. So you are the one who writes your own rules, and you are the one who have to um, who have to follow your own rules, if that makes sense. So it's like you are the dictator here and uh, that that being said a lot of uh, unnecessary troubles a lot of unnecessary chores a lot of unnecessary code of conducts that you are following up until this moment are simply going to become completely irrelevant for you Aquarius you you will not feel yourself either obliged nor um, how do I say it nor a a, a benefactor of, of doing it so and what happens instead it is that the dreams up until this moment that that were looking like a fantasy suddenly starts to become a seeds growing, right? And you are going to start nurturing those uh, those seeds. Whoever wants to follow and help you, that's great. Whoever doesn't, that's even better because at the very least you will know who your friends are at the end of the day. And uh, the last card that we do have here, which is the guidance that you should follow, that will be the Tower card. And uh, it's catalyzed, wow, by the Emperor. We do have a, a active supporters. So we are talking about complete, uh, complete, complete change of 
how the game is played, how, about the rules that are established either into career or either into relationship. And uh, with the tower, it looks like that you will have to do these, um, how do you say it, around the, um, when you have to cut off a, a rotten meat, sometimes you have to cut as well some healthy meat around it, all right? So uh, along with the noxious enterprises or with the noxious people, some of those who does not deserve to go, they need to go, but itself, uh, that, that particular process, although it may appear itself as with a, a bit unpleasant circumstances or rather like a, uh, you know, uncomfortable circumstances, it will allow you to restructure your life. It will uh, allow you to uh, systemize your future, to construct your future the way you want, which is going to make your future extremely reliable. You know, you are going to become more... Um, consistent as well and you will be able to from a um, very questionable future you are going to make it foreseeable future all right so to me for you Aquarius this week it's a, a very important one all right uh, it's important on where you are to be the engineer the constructor of um, of your future so I do hope that you build up your foundations the way you want, right? And um, um, the way that's, the, the way with no remorse, because the remorse is something that can hold you back, okay? The remorse that you have to give up of certain people, the remorse that you have to give away a certain hobbies as well, the remorse that you have to let someone go that does not need to be let go or does not deserve to be let go while in the same time you are complete you are completely aware that the uh, the relationship with this person either intimate business or just a friendship is just holding you back all right sometimes you just gotta let go of things in order to make a a better more solid more bulletproof structure into one's life and that starts to happen this week september 16th to september 22nd 2019 so that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for that period of time. Once again, September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.